everyone. Hope you're doing good at your homes. And I'm gonna be doing another tutorial today about headstands. Okay, so come with me. I'm gonna teach you Sarugasana, which is a headstand that's very popular. So all you need to do is unlace your fingers like this and place your elbows on the ground. You form a triangle at the base. Okay, so like this. Not too wide, not too narrow, just as a triangle, okay? The head, you place from the ground to the top of your head. It's not the forehead, it's not the back of a head, it's the top of a head. And because it's oval, we surround with the hands around the head, okay? So head is the ground, hands enlace the head, elbows placed firm on the ground. We're gonna activate the shoulder strength, okay? So take the first hand of the ground, bring the hips off the ground, try to approach the feet as close as possible to make your back straight, okay? If you don't have much flexibility in your legs, you can bend the knees, there's no problem. There's two ways to start. You can start one leg up if you're more flexible, then you swap and do the other one, or you can go like this. Roll the leg and swap to the other one. So this is Grivasana in the beginning of the position, right? So if you want to progress, then you can start trying one feet off the ground, either here or both here, okay? Not much flexible, try here and then the other one. Always come back with one foot forward so you can fall that way, it's easier, okay? Make sure there's nothing around you that can hurt you. If you fall, it's gonna be fine. Okay, as long as you don't have anything around that can hurt you. Right, so from here, relax the other one until you're able to bring both of the ground and then the next step is gonna be upright posture, which takes time, you have to practice. So I'm gonna recommend you to do that stage on the wall. I'm gonna help you towards that, okay? So rest now is a bit because it brings circulation to the head, to the forehead, and you need to recover to go up again. Okay, so rest a bit before you step. So if I do against the wall, I'm gonna teach you. Measure one palm away from the wall. And lace the fingers again. Place your hands there. Top of the head to the ground as it did before. Lift the hips. And you're gonna touch your feet on the wall like this. Okay? So if you're safe, you're not gonna fall to the other side, you're gonna fall only forward, so there's more control. And then you can practice your thing. You can practice here, then here, then both, and you can stay. And here you can try the feet off the wall. One, then another one, and then you control more and more until you're more confident to stay, all right? Very important, I'm gonna tell you now what you need to do, okay? You're gonna press the elbows down to the ground. The effort is not in your neck. If you feel in your neck, you do it wrong. Okay, stop it, start again. You get, you need to use the shoulder strength. So you're gonna be pressing your elbows to the ground and you want to lift the head off the ground. Okay, so effort's in your shoulders, you're not feeling your neck, and then you can go for that. Okay, walk the feet, one leg, other one, and both. Try to keep the, left, the body straight as you have a line from the top of your head up to the feet, hanging you in the ceiling. This is the trick for you to find your balance and try to stay as much as you can. Close to the wall, practice the wall, and then the more you practice, the better it gets. Okay, you get someone to help you to balance, learn the beginning, rest the head. Okay, so. Make sure again that there's nothing around you that can hurt you so you can roll on the mat. I always suggest for my students that they should start from here. So in case they roll, they have all that space on the mat to roll back. So never start from the middle or somewhere else because then you're going to be out of the mat and if you forgot that there's something around, you might get hurt or here the floor is not very comfortable as well. Okay, that's it. A bit more advanced. If you're scared, you don't need to go all the way, okay? You can stay in this first step, which is Grivasana. 
Leave us knees up to here. So practice the strength in your shoulders. Trying to lift the head off the ground. Practice one leg off. Then don't work. And here we have chorus to maybe try this one. Okay, so the steps. Practice a little bit by bit. When your body is ready, you're gonna lose the fear, okay? Fear is the protection. So if you're still fearing, it's because your body is not ready. Just listen to your intuition, but keep on trying. To, you will progress. There will be a time that you feel, oh my God, I can do that. And then you progress, okay? Right, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna be with more videos in this YouTube channel, Vivian Kanagari Yoga. You can share this video, I'm very happy if you do. Uh, I'm also going to be providing live classes uh, from next Tuesday from MoveGB uh, and uh, I'm also going to be providing a course, a special courses as part of my, my B course, my qualification that I can provide for my school. Uh, it's a creative independent yoga, yoga network, my school, and I'm going to provide specifically now a model of my uh, full course uh, online so people can start teaching online it's just about postures just about learning how to teach my method and you can create on top of that i don't mind um but you have to refer to my school that you learn with me if you want to continue uh, as my student if you want to register depending on your network network you need to be uh, in my school for a little while uh, so i'm going to explain this in another video but there will be this course available which is uh, very quick very short and we'll put you in place to work like me, doing tutorials, doing uh, live classes and making your money. I'm happy to share with love with you. Um, of course, they'll be uh, paid, but it's, it's extremely affordable, the course, uh, compared to other big courses that we have uh, around. Um, that's it. So enjoy your day. Thanks for staying with me. Namaste.